Chris Atkins, president of the Cat Company and co-founder of groupofnations.com. Thank you very much for joining me again for your interest on the G7 and G20 global summits. For additional information, please visit us at groupofnations.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the button below. On April 21st, I was fortunate enough to be one of 600 participants who attended the Saudi B20 virtual meeting with leaders from the World Health Organization, the International Chamber of Commerce, Bayer, Enel, the W20, and the B20 Digitalization Task Force, who convened in a session titled Reviving Business for a New Normal. The session was moderated by Gillian Tett from the Financial Times, was part of the B20 COVID-19 initiative, which was established to address key issues arising from the pandemic and how businesses and industries will react to the effects of the crisis. The panel discussed the current global response to COVID-19 as well as measures industry and governments need to implement as they begin reviving the global economy. It was highlighted that more than 25 million people are expected to be unemployed worldwide because of the pandemic. So great emphasis was placed on the future of macro, small and medium enterprises as they're bearing the brunt of our current situation yet they make up 80% of employment across most countries. The panel agreed it was imperative for nations across the globe to come together to fight the impact of this global pandemic in a coordinated effort, rather than on their own or being at odds with others. Dr. David Nabarro, Special Envoy for COVID-19 for the World Health Organization, stated that now is not the time for point scoring or for finger pointing. It is the time for solidarity and for humanity. In a discussion acknowledging the innovative waves that technology has played during this crisis, Francisco Staras, CEO of Enel Group, commented that the way we have learned to work in a digital world has been accelerated, crash course in digitalization, and it will change the way we work forever. Insightful recommendations, including providing protection and support for women-owned businesses and protection against gender discrimination were also provided by Rania Nashra, Chair of the B20 Women in Business Action Council, and Werner Berman, CEO of Bayer, who emphasised the need for more international global collaboration between the UN and the G20 that involves the B20 and the WHO. The Business 20, commonly known as the B20, is the official G20 engagement group that bridges the gap between the business sector and the G20 leaders. The discussion and input provided by panelists and participants during the virtual session on April 21st will help to inform a set of recommendations that will be submitted to the leaders of the G20 member countries. For more information and to read a copy of the full statement, please visit us at groupofnations.com and don't forget to subscribe on the YouTube channel. Thank you.